Hey guys, this is uh, CP Cards and Dice with Tony Porter and welcome. What we're doing today is a quick tutorial using iScore and RetroSheet. So let's say you want to replay a season uh, 1970 um, Cincinnati Red season or a 1970 Baltimore Orioles season or a 1979 Pittsburgh Pirates season or a 1986 Mets season. Uh, 1996 New York Yankee season. Well, this is uh, iScore. It's a free app. You just go to your app store and you can download it. And this is your home screen. From your home screen, of course, you're going to create a league, which I did already. Um, I added a league. This league is going to be called Retro, Retro League just for the uh, quick tutorial that I'm doing. And uh, so once you got that league, of course, you just go into league and you say add a league. It's real simple. You write the name of the league and your league is created. It's, it's that easy. Okay. So there's, there's nothing that is going to be a challenging about this, this app. It's very easy to use. So once you create your league, then you're going to go to your team manager because you're going to create some teams. Now you can create a team from scratch and call them whatever you want and then add the players and write the players in however you want to do it. Or... If you're going to play, if you want an actual roster, you go to Discover Team. And it's going to give you a, a large assortment of resources. You're going to get, you know, mostly this is for college and high school players and so forth. So you're going to get a lot of that where you can upload a roster, you know, uh, different uh, uh, um, teams, um, these travel teams, the youth travel teams. They have rosters through these organization so you can upload a roster and you can have your son already on your iScore pad so you can go to the game and watch him play and and keep track of how he does so that's one use of of this uh app but the other use of this app if you scroll farther down it gives you major league baseball it gives you ncaa baseball it gives you ncaa softball it gives you the M milb and it gives you the milb mexican league and then finally it gives you the retro sheet and that's what we're looking at today retro sheet so we're going to click on Retro Sheet, and it's going to give us a list of years. So I can see here that we don't have 18 and 19, uh, and I believe that is in here. I believe I've seen that somewhere. <clears throat> Major League Baseball may have those two seasons. Let's see. Um, hmm, I'm wondering if this is 2020 or 2019. It doesn't clearly state that. So it's not really within the parameters of the tutorial right now to go investigate that. But uh, it, I'm not sure if that's 2020 or 2019. Let's go back to Discover Team. Scroll down. We've got a retro sheet. Um, let's see. One of the things that I'm doing right now is a 1980 project for Fall Classic Baseball. So we're going to go to 1980, and I'm, I'm going to be playing the Oakland A's versus the Boston Red Sox in Boston. So I'm going to the teams in 1980. So I'm going to go to the athletics. I tap on that, and here's the team. So here's all the players I use, the whole roster. All right. So what we're going to do is um, confirm team import. I'm going to, I don't know what, no, import right here on the upper right-hand corner. Import, confirm, import if you want to import this team to your device. Yes. Successfully added 34 players, team 1980 athletics. <clears throat> that just saved me a lot of work right there. All right, so then I'm going to go back. I'm going to discover team. See, I, oh, by the way, I'll show you both teams in a second. Just let me, uh, I want to also do 1980 Boston Red Sox, which I'm tracking as well. 1980 Boston Red Sox and do that. And uh, here they are right there. Okay, here's all the players for the 1980 Boston Red Sox. And now um, what I'm going to do is import those. It's successfully imported. So it's done. I'm set. I'm ready to play. That's simple. Now I get out of here right back back. And then I go into uh, Game Manager. Go into Game Manager. That's where I'm going to set up my game. And I'm going to click Add a Game. I'm going to create a game. I'm going to do the Visitor. Visitor is going to be the Oakland Athletics. 
And then the home is going to be the Boston Red Sox. Do that. I click done. And now it's going to take me to the arrow. The arrow, I click the arrow. It's going to take me to the teams. And now it's going to say score game. I follow that. And now it's going to give me the lineups. It's going to say, hey, create a lineup, dummy. So what I'm going to do is if I want to create an actual lineup, if I want to create my own lineup, I'm going to start putting these in order um, of the lineup. And uh, I know that Rick Burleson was shortstop, and he led off a lot of the time. So he's going to be yes. So batting first, and I'm going to put him up to the top. Then there was a little second baseman. Uh, let's see. Jerry Remy he should be here somewhere. There he is. He's going to be the second baseman. Okay, everything's set up. I just got to put him at second base. And he's going to be in there. I'm going to put him. Is he starting? Yes. And I'm going to put him number two. I'm going to pull him up to right below Burleson. Now, normally batting third was Fred Lynn. And once I check uh, baseball reference, I'll know to fix that. Fred Lynn, there he is. He's going to be center fielder. And he will be playing. Yes. Again, I'm going to drag him. There's three little bars on the right, and that helps you drag him up. And then batting fourth. Um, a few different people batting fourth. I know that... Uh, Let's see, Tony Armas, Tony Perez batted fourth. You hope we'll make put we'll put Perez there right now. If there's any changes I need to make, I will. So we found Perez. We're gonna pop him into fourth play. Now, once you you have this in place, you save it, and then of course, uh, you don't have to recreate it from scratch anymore. So wouldn't it be great if every single you know lineup came in there when you uploaded the team? It would start off with the first game, the first lineup. Carlton Fisk, I know, plays uh, catcher a lot of the time. And uh, we're going to put him in there as well, and we may have to move him. I know Jim Rice plays left field for them. Jimmy Rice had a good season. Butch Hobson plays as well, so let's get Jim Rice. All right, so Jim Rice is there. Go back, and uh, there's a couple ways to do this. So I can put him into left field there. Touch the other box. Is he batting? Yes. And he's going to play, he's going to bat six for now. I know uh, Carl Yastrzemski is usually the DH in uh, 1980. I think it's maybe his last season, not, not totally sure. And uh, I'm showing you how to use RetroSheet to create a, a roster and then just use that. And now the, the iScore system will keep track of all the stats for you on these players, and you don't have to create any players, which is my, one of my issues. I create the same player multiple times because uh, sometimes I just don't see him. And I say, oh, I didn't create him. So then I recreate him. And then all of a sudden he's there twice. And now it's a problem because he has stats on both. And I, I have not found an easy way to, to make that correction. I'm looking for, um, who was I looking for? Ah, Butch Hobson. Butch Hobson, third baseman. There we go. And um, <clears throat> that's eight players. Uh, my right field is usually Dwyer. Let me get Jim Dwyer. Dwight Evans plays against lefties. Dwyer plays against righties. But I think uh, I think that um, Dwight Evans is injured because he's, he's there, but then he's not really there all that often. So I'm looking for Jim Dwyer. There he is. He's going to be in right field. And then our pitcher is going to be Mike Torres. So let's find Mike Torres. There he is. He's going to be a pitcher. And he is not he is not batting. So I'll put him up there as well. And that's it. That's my nine. And I'll scroll down so you can see them. So now what I'm going to do is to save these. I'm going to go into options, roster. Copy roster, and that they're going to be saved. So this setup, this lineup is going to be saved. And now I got to do the same thing with. Once they're saved, you know they change somewhat from day to day, but maybe only a player, and then you just kind of switch them like that, or so like that. 
and then that's all that happens. Maybe they add a guy, but it's usually not creating every single player from scratch. So you want to create the first uh, lineup, and then after that, you feed, you know, you 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 rely on that lineup as as the basis for whatever lineup is gonna the new lineup that's gonna be required in that game. So that's about it. This is using Retro Sheet. And you and uh, I score a free app, so it won't cost you anything. You do need an iPad. You do need an iPad. A lot of guys are like, "Oh, I don't have an iPad." Well, unfortunately, uh, you're gonna need an iPad, or you can do it on your phone. I've, I've, I keep, but I can't get retro retro sheet on my phone for some reason. It just won't come up. Uh, I get it on this on this uh, uh, iPad. This is a 9.7 inch iPad. They, you can get them for about eighty five dollars. Um. So that is, uh, that's going to, you know, that's not too bad. You get it for $85. This I bought two or three years ago, and it works perfect for me. I can't do a screen record on it because you need 11 iOS or, or, or better for a screen record. So I had to do this old school, just camera, unfortunately. Um, it would have been easier. Screen record is a little bit easier, but it's okay. Either way, it's fine. It works. And uh, that's about it. I want to do this quick, short tutorial on how to get started using Retro Sheet. So you can, and it'll keep your stats, you know, for all your teams. It, it won't create the, the, the sheets. It won't create, you know, your leaderboards. It won't create a, a standings. Uh, you'll have to do that by hand. But it does everything else, and it's for free, and, uh, and you don't have to keep stats. It's one thing that I hate doing because it takes me away from rolling. Well, I'm spending one or two hours or three hours keeping stats. Well, guess what? I'm not rolling games and, and involved in, in the excitement of the game. I'm just keeping the stats, you know. So anyway, this is CP Cards and Dice, Tony Porter. And uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, iScore um, retro sheet tutorial. Um, and uh, stay safe. Happy New Year. And I will see you soon. Any questions, uh, anything you need, uh, reach out to me on YouTube or at uh, Universe, uh, Universal Baseball Association at Gmail. You can get me there as well. And remember to join the Universal uh, Baseball Association Facebook group and all its sister uh, groups as well. It has about five or six different groups that go along with that one. So thanks a lot for watching. Take care now.